Hello fat stringers and low end lovers and welcome to today's bass lesson. Today we have this kind of like a, this chordal groove which is quite nice, I quite like it. It's kind of quirky as well which is always good. Uh, yes, okay so the way we're going to access it is we're going to be doing the pincer thing with our thumb and our index finger. We've been doing loads of these lessons, so um, we've done loads in the past even. So you should know what we're doing by now. Okay, and we're going to play the E string and the G string at exactly the same times. Okay, but first I want you to come to the, what is that, the 12th, 15th fret, uh, 12th, no it's not, it's the 14th fret, sorry, on the E string with your index finger. Okay, and then the 15th fret and the G string with your ring finger. And that's the chord I want you to maintain right there, that's just that two note chord, okay. And I want you to play the E and the G at the same time. Like that, yeah. Okay, so that's quite distant by itself. Okay, but I want you to slide up like uh, to one fret. Okay, so the uh, that's on the 14th, and that comes onto the 15th, and that's on the 15th, and that goes into the 16th, and the G strings are like this. Nice and simple. Yeah? Okay, I then I want you to do a quick open A. So we have. Okay, and then come to the 12th fret on the A string with your middle finger. Uh, the 10th fret on the D string with your index finger and then come to the 12th fret on the G string with your ring finger. We're going to hold this chord here. And you're going to play the root of it first, so you're going to play A, okay, and then you're going to play the D and the G at the same time. So we have. So. Yeah? Time. Do another open A, so. Okay, and then I want you to come to the 15th fret on the A string with your middle finger, the 14th fret on the D string with your index finger, and the 16th fret on the G string with your ring finger. And do the exact same thing again. I want you to play the A string first, and then the D and the G strings at the same time. So we have. Oops, a daisy. Again, okay, I'm going to do another open A. I'm just going to do that bit again. Okay, so open A, and then come back to this chord here and do exactly the same thing again. So it's the 12th fret on the A string, uh, it's the, uh, the, the, the 10th fret on the D, and the 12th fret on the G, and do the same thing again. So you play your open A, and then you play the uh, 12th fret, and then the D and the G strings at the same time. So all together we have. Do another open A at the end to get you back into the whole thing again. There's loads of stuff, couldn't you? You could just carry on! The, the, it's just infinite! Infinite, my friends! I shall see you in tomorrow's bass lesson.